Site Vault allows you to manage site level, non-study specific documents such as standard operating procedures or SOPs, work instructions, and policy memos. Site admins can create these documents and send them for review, e-signature, and site staff training. Site documents can be uploaded and managed in the Site eBinder. External users will not have access to the Site eBinder or any of the site documents. To upload documents, drag and drop documents to the grid or select Upload. The Site eBinder offers the ability to bulk upload documents with a max of 20 documents at a time. Once files are selected, you have the option to add or remove documents from the queue. Then select the document type from the dropdown. Select the upload state and any additional actions. Upload as draft can be used in cases where the document requires additional processing or review. For example, you can select to send the document for e-signature approval during the upload process. Upload to final state can be used when the document is complete and no further processing is needed. Please note that the state label depends on the document type selected. You can also select an additional action such as certifying the document as a copy or sending for read and understand. The brief title will be added to the document name, and once all required document fields are complete, a green checkmark will appear next to the file name. Click Save to upload the document. For any site documents that are uploaded in the draft state, you can open the document to take any additional action, such as sending for e-signature approval. All admin and staff at the site are eligible to be the approver. The approver will receive an email notification and task on their homepage to review and approve the document. Once the approver enters their credentials, the document will be final and effective. Once the document is effective, it will be viewable to all internal site staff, including anyone in the site viewer role. Should you want to collect a record of training for these documents, they can be sent for read and understand. If the document applies to more than one site within a multi-site research organization, admins with access to those sites can associate the document to such sites. To do so, admins must be working in the research organization context and the document must be in the draft state. For more information on site documents and how to use them, check out our Help Center.